Yeah, look, I mean, um, it's based on research work done by Goldman Sachs. They issued a report last year, uh, sorry, actually last month. I think it's the 8th of June, uh, 2023. And basically what they did was to model kind of gr growth, GDP, uh, across the whole um, um, group of countries. And uh, looking at population growth, uh, investment uh, in technology. And what they say in the report quite clearly is that obviously capital and technology, uh, including population growth, is going to be a big driver of growth uh, you know, for Nigeria. And the forecast Nigeria will be in 2021 terms uh, you know, a 14 trillion um, uh, economy. At the core of that um, is going to be technology and the digital economy. And uh, we play in that space as MTN. We are providing the digital infrastructure in, uh, in the way that we're rolling out networks. We're moving fast into 5G now. We're fiberizing our networks. You know, digital economy requires a lot of fiberization of networks, you know, you know building, partnering on data centers and so forth. So we're going to be in the digital infrastructure layer of that digital economy. Um, and we're going to put, you know, as we've mentioned, three and a half billion uh, of um, digital uh, investment you know, over the next five years. So we're going to participate in the capital formation of Nigeria. We're going to develop services, the services that go with, uh, you know, 5G technologies, you know, uh, low latency, uh, you know, kind of high capacity broadband, uh, as well as financial inclusion. You know, we've, we're very pleased with the fact that we have the Momo PSB license. So we're also going to participate in the financial inclusion side of the digital economy. Uh, ultimately, you know, these businesses are very different in the, the infrastructure that you need, in the skills that you need, the capital that's required to build them. So I think in time, you will see what has been called in the industry the delayering of the telecommunications business. You know, a core connectivity business that has um, both wireless and fixed assets that enables people to, you know, engage on the internet. Um, I, I think you're going to see businesses that are more, um, you know, fiber being carved out and being a separate business. That's a kind of international trend. And also the spinning out of, you know, uh, mobile money businesses or fintech businesses. That's kind of the direction of travel, you know, over the next three to five years that I think you'll see. Uh, uh, as businesses that are adjacent to the core telecommunications business become big in of themselves and ultimately be spun out. So I think that is what you should anticipate over the next three to five years. Yeah, it's been a great sense of energy and enthusiasm that I'm picking out here. Uh, people are seeing the policy reforms, at least the ones that have already been made by President Tunubu. They've been made very quickly. And I think they've been, from an international perspective, they've been very well received that President Tinubu is acting on his policy agenda, you know, dealing with the fuel subsidy, you know, harmonizing exchange rates. Uh, you know, obviously there's going to be pain in the short term, but long term, this is exactly what will take Nigeria to its pride of place in being one of the largest economies in the world. You know, these structural reforms are very important to get Nigeria to that place.